Let's continue to look at uh, some selected homework problems from related rates, 2.6, 28, um, another Pythagorean theorem problem. Suppose a player is running from first base to second base at a speed of 25 feet per second. So um, here's the base runner's path. Uh, find the rate at which the distance from home plate is changing when the player is 20 feet from second base. So um, at this moment in time, um, this uh, player, this um, uh, base runner is um, 20 feet from second base. So we want to find the rate at which the distance between home plate uh, and um, the player is, is changing. So we can uh, we know that uh, um, the path between first and second base versus the path uh, between home base and first is going to create a 90 degree angle. So we have a right triangle here. So let's call um, uh, the distance here. There's the constant uh, value as the runner is um, heading towards second base. This distance is not going to be changing. So we can call this 90. Uh, this we can call this x. And then uh, the hypotenuse we can call z. So here we have a um, uh, right triangle relationship that we can use Pythagorean theorem um, uh, to start us off with. Uh, so the player is uh, running at 25 feet per second. So uh, we know x is going to be increasing um, at a rate of 25 feet per second at this moment in time and we're trying to figure out uh, dz dt, the rate of change uh, between um, the distance of between home plate and uh, the base runner. So at the moment when the player is 20 feet from second base, now this 20 is a little misleading because 20 is the distance uh, between, the, uh, between the base runner and second base, but that's not the distance of x, right? x is going to be 70 because we know the distance between first and second base is 90 feet. If you're 20 feet from second base, that means you are um, uh, 70 feet from first base. So um, the, uh, the right triangle that we're creating um, has a right angle at first base. We have to involve first base in our uh, right triangle uh, length um, or length of the right triangle. So x is going to be 70 at this moment in time. So now let's go back to our Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus 90 squared equals z squared. So here is our Pythagorean theorem. Um, from here, we can find uh, the missing z value that we need. So Pythagorean theorem, 70 squared plus 90 squared equals z squared. Um, take the square root of the sum. We get square root of 13,000. So now let's move on to finding the derivative. x squared becomes 2x dx dt. 90 squared is a constant. Constant goes to 0. z squared becomes 2z dz dt. Let's see if we have enough information to help us solve for dz dt. So x we are given, or we can um, gather from uh, what's given to us. So it's 70. Uh, dx dt is the speed of the base runner, so 25 feet per second. Um, 0 is the result of the 90 squared, so 90 squared goes to 0. And then z is, um, using Pythagorean theorem, is square root of 13,000. And that leaves us with our final uh, variable that we're looking for, dz dt. So after we make the um, substitutions, we can solve for dz, dz dt by dividing both sides by 2 root uh, 13,000. And that, um, using our calculator, we can uh, estimate uh, the rate of change of the distance between home plate and the base runner is 15.35 feet per second. Okay, one more here, um, number 30, shadow length. So uh, shadow length, um, we're looking at um, uh, this is going to be a shadow problem. So a shadow problem uh, usually involves um, similar triangles. So uh, we're going to set up this diagram. We have a, um, a large right triangle and a smaller right triangle inside. So this, this uh, 6 represents the height of the person and the 20 represents the height of the lamppost. X is the distance, horizontal distance between the person 
and um, the lamppost and y is the distance between the tip of the shadow and the person so uh, we can create uh, a similar triangle uh, relationship using um, uh, using uh, we can say small height is to big height using proportions here 6 to 20 as the small base of the triangle is to the large base of the large triangle so 6 over 20 um, is equal to the proportion or relationship between y and x plus y so small height is to big height as small base is to big base so 6 over 20 equals y over x plus y if we cross multiply we can um, get it out of uh, fraction form and if we combine like terms subtract the 6y we get 14y so 6x equals 14y here's our starting point okay let's go back to uh, what we're given in the problem um, we know the person is walking at 5 feet per second towards the light so as person is walking towards the light we know that's going to affect the rate of change of x How, however we know x is going to be decreasing since the person is walking towards the lamppost and so the distance will be shrinking between the person and the lamppost so dx dt is negative 5 feet per second okay. for part a uh, we want to find the rate at the tip of the shadow uh, the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving so tip of the shadow um, is going to be influenced by the rate of change of y and the rate of change of x so we just add the two rates together so we have dx dt the missing information now is solving for dy dt so to get to dy dt we have our relationship here um, starting from our um, similar triangle um, proportion equation so 6x equals 14y let's go ahead and find the derivative 6x becomes 6 we attach dx dt since we're involving x's derivative uh, 14y becomes 14 and we attach dy dt since we're involving y's derivative we can replace um, dx dt with negative 5 and then dy dt leaves us with the only variable that we need to find um, that remains which is dy dt so divide both sides by 14 we get negative 30 over 14 or negative 15 over 7 which is dy dt so the tip of the shadow um, is going to be influenced by uh, both the rate of change of x and y so we just add the two rates together so negative 5 is the rate of the person walking uh, dy dt is the rate of the uh, shadow length and so we add those together we get negative 50 over 7 feet per second so that is the tip the rate of change of the tip of the shadow uh, for part b the length of the shadow is a changing um, it is changing and it is simply uh, changing by the rate that is provided by dy dt so dy dt um, is the rate of change of the shadow um, cast by uh, the person so negative 15 over 7 feet per second